Dear congregation, today we embark on a profound journey, delving into the very origin of God. While our finite minds may struggle to comprehend the infinite, let us humbly seek wisdom from the scriptures to illuminate this mysterious truth. As we explore the origin of God, may our hearts be filled with awe and reverence for the Almighty Creator. God's eternal existence, Genesis 1 1, Psalm 92, Revelation 1 8. In the opening verse of the Bible, we encounter the profound declaration In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, Genesis 1 1. This foundational truth reveals that God exists outside the constraints of time and space. As Psalm 92 affirms, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Our God is eternal, without beginning or end. Before the universe came into being, before time itself existed, God was already present. He is the uncaused cause the eternal source of all existence. This truth offers us reassurance and stability in a world of flux and uncertainty. It invites us to trust in the unchanging nature of our Creator, who reigns sovereign over all. God as Creator and Sustainer, Colossians 1, 16, 17, Hebrews 1, 3. The scriptures reveal that God not only brought the universe into existence, but also sustains it by His power. Colossians 1 16, 17 declares, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Similarly, Hebrews 1 3 describes Jesus as upholding all things by the word of his power. God's creative act was not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. He continues to uphold the universe by his sovereign power, sustaining every particle of matter and governing every law of physics. This truth reminds us of our dependence on God for every breath we take and every heartbeat. It inspires gratitude and worship for his unfathomable greatness and care for his creation. The mystery of the Trinity, Matthew 28, 19, 2 Corinthians 13, 14. As we contemplate the origin of God, we encounter the profound mystery of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus instructed his disciples to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Matthew 28, 19. Likewise, Paul concludes his second letter to the Corinthians with the benediction, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. The Trinity reveals the complexity and unity of God's nature, though beyond our full comprehension, it reflects the richness of his relational essence. God exists eternally in perfect fellowship within himself. The Father loves the Son. The Son submits to the Father, and the Holy Spirit proceeds from both. As we contemplate this mystery, we are drawn into deeper awe and wonder at the majesty of our triune God. God's omnipotence and omniscience, Psalm 147, 5, Isaiah 46, 9, 10. In contemplating the origin of God, we are confronted with his omnipotence and omniscience. Psalm 147, 5 declares, Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite, God's power knows no bounds, and His wisdom is beyond measure. Isaiah 46, 9, 10 further affirms this truth. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. God's omnipotence refers to his unlimited power to accomplish his purposes, while his omniscience denotes his complete knowledge of all things, past, present, and future. These attributes assure us of his ability to fulfill his promises and bring about his plans with certainty and precision. 
as we acknowledge God's sovereignty over all creation, we find assurance and peace in His unfailing wisdom and power. The incomprehensibility of God, Romans 11, 33, 36, Isaiah 55, 8, 9, while we strive to understand the origin of God and His divine attributes, we must humbly acknowledge the limits of our finite minds. Romans 11, 33, 36 poetically expresses this truth. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments and His ways past finding out! For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Or who hath been His counselor? Or who hath first given to Him? And it shall be recompensed unto Him again. For of Him, and through Him, and to Him, are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. God's ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are beyond our comprehension. As Isaiah 55, 8, 9 reminds us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. While we may never fully grasp the depths of God's mysteries, we can trust in His goodness and wisdom, knowing that He is worthy of all honor and praise. The invitation to know God personally, Jeremiah 9, 23, 24, John 17, 3, while we may never fully comprehend the origin and nature of God, we are invited into a personal relationship with Him. Jeremiah 9, 23, 24 declares, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. God delights in revealing himself to those who seek him with humble hearts. Jesus himself proclaimed in John 17, 3, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. True knowledge of God is not merely intellectual but relational, rooted in a personal encounter with the living God through his Son, Jesus Christ. As we embrace this invitation, we find fulfillment, purpose, and eternal life in him. As we conclude our exploration of the origin and attributes of God, let us stand in awe of His greatness and majesty. Our God is omnipotent, omniscient, and beyond our comprehension, yet He invites us into a personal relationship with Him. May we respond with humility, reverence, and wholehearted devotion, knowing that He alone is worthy of all honor and praise. Amen.